than two-thirds of the world's electrical supply is consumed by major population centers along the coasts. In the United States, for example, 28 states have a coastal boundary, and these 28 states consume 78% of the electrical power produced in the country. The U.S. has an abundance of wind power resources suitable for industrial scale power generation. Current proposed wind power plants are focused on land-based power generation, mainly in the Great Plains, and offshore shallow water power generation. Both scenarios polarize proponents and critics alike. The Great Plains offer ample wind, yet they are hundreds and thousands of miles removed from the main demand centers, a condition that makes it impossible to utilize all this free wind without massive upgrades to the electrical grid system at a cost of billions. Offshore wind power generation does address the need for generating power near demand centers, yet it has galvanized communities to reject such installations for a variety of reasons, including environmental, ecological, real estate, and tourism. Both land and offshore scenarios require on-site assembly and extensive foundation work. The windmill foundation must be constructed on location. Turbine components and hoisting equipment are then delivered and assembled piece by piece. The process is time-consuming and very expensive. It contributes an upwards of 40% to the cost of constructing a wind farm. Offshore offers the additional advantage of stronger winds. With wind speeds offshore averaging 8.5 meters per second, as opposed to wind speeds on land, which average only 6.4 to 7.5 meters per second, offshore wind power generation stands to produce 70% higher power output. For example, a typical 1.5 megawatts turbine generates 530 kilowatts on land and 900 kilowatts at sea. The prospects of leveraging offshore wind power generation in deep waters have been mostly avoided as the cost of such installations proved to be too high and the engineering challenges to secure a wind farm in deep water too daunting. High seas wind provides for a low cost, innovative approach to harvest abundance of available wind energy resources offshore and with least regard to water depth concerns. Furthermore, we propose leveraging existing wind turbine products and proven electrical transmission technologies to minimize undue risk and speed up time to market. The cornerstone of our design is a patent-pending floating wind turbine platform. The floating base is equipped with active buoyancy, a self-adjusting design taking full advantage of wind direction and current conditions. Additionally, the simplicity of our design reduces construction costs and maintenance costs by incorporating a variable incline feature that allows for the whole wind turbine to be constructed on shore in a dry dock and float for deployment. As added protection, during extreme weather conditions, high seas winds turbine is completely submersible underwater. Full assembly on shore, towing in a reclined position to a deep water deployment site, and autonomous transitioning into operating mode makes the high seas wind system the first truly modern, cost effective wind harvesting solution. The high seas wind streamlined design, manufacturing, deployment, and maintenance methods 
will do for the wind power industry what the Ford Model T did for the auto industry. It will lead to an era of modern, commercially viable mass manufacturing techniques, dramatic cost reduction, and increased efficiency. The benefits of high seas wind, deep water wind power generation are unprecedented. Patent pending floating design for water deeper than 35 meters. Actively controlled buoyancy. Water ballasts provide for balance and incline equilibrium. Rigid watertight construction. Automated wind direction control with submerged thrusters. Dry dock construction. Full final assembly at shipyard. Towing to installation site. Autonomous transitioning from deployment into operation, protection, and maintenance mode. Minimal site preparation and simple mooring. Completely submersible protection for rough weather. Designed for maintainability. High seas wind will provide 70% more power than a similar installation on land. The high seas wind power plant will be 40% less expensive than a similar power plant on land.